What's up guys? How are you all doing? Today I'm gonna try something different. Um, you know, usually in, on my animations I've been drawing like image after image, like frame by frame. Uh, I'm gonna try something else today. It's still 2D. I'm going to try cutout animation. So I'm gonna make like individual parts like the hand, the arm, or, like the upper arm, the lower arm. And I'm gonna like make those into individual pieces and I'm gonna rig them so I have like a rigged character in 2D. I'm going to try that today, follow some YouTube tutorials, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm in Blender right now, um, which I usually use. Uh, I'm going to start uh, drawing like uh, parts here and then uh, I'll be back when I drew the whole character. Okay guys, I'm done drawing the character, now I'm going to follow some tutorials on how to rig him and then I'll come back. Okay guys, now I'm done with the rig. I made some IK controls here so I can actually move his feet and like move his uh, body around. I also made it for the hands, so I can like move them and I have shoulders as well, everything. The only thing is that, like the hands, if I want a different hand pose, not like this, but like this or something, I have to draw that, so that's what I'm doing with the lip syncing right now. I have like different keyframes here of different mouths for him talking, so I'm working on that now, I'm gonna work on the hands, and uh, then I will uh, probably be done with the character and make a little test scene, and then uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. Okay guys, now the um, hands are completely done. I add this time offset modifier here, which can change every drawing I made. Like the rig works, you can move it in any way and uh, it will animate like that, but what I'm gonna do is uh, add some nice controls so it looks more professional and uh, is easier to animate perhaps. So I'm gonna do that and uh, I'll be back. Alright guys, the rig is now complete. For now, at least. Uh, I'm not sure like if I need to add anything more, but it looks cool in my opinion. Like we have his head here, so we can rotate all around. Let me show you how the rig works. We have this main bone here first, which we use to change the location of the character. We have this bone here that uh, controls his body, so you can like move him around, like if it's gonna do a little dance and stuff. We have the foot controls here. All of this is IK, it's called inverse kinematics, and inverse kinematics is basically, basically like what you use for arms and legs mostly. You can also use FK, which is forward kinematics. That's kind of complicated, I'm not gonna get into that now, but look it up if you're interested. So this is all IK, I can move this foot here, I can rotate the foot, so he can like do some cool movement here as well. This is like the pole target, this circle here, so if you want to change direction that's not really gonna be used that much, but if he's gonna like move his feet like that. These are the shoulders, I can rotate this and he will like move his shoulders a bit. This is also the arm here, so you can like wave to people and stuff, that's cool. Here's the face controls, we have the mouth here, you can move the mouth around, uh, don't really need to do that much. I can move his pupils, so he can look around, and I can also move his eyebrows. Maybe I'll make a part 2 of the rigging, but this is like the start of a good rigger. So yeah guys, that's pretty much what I got for now, uh, I will see you guys in my next video, I will definitely continue on this, so we'll see how that goes in the next video. But until then... Have a great one guys and I'll see you later.